Make yourself an English tea and bring your tissues closer because we're about to get into one hell of an emotional roller coaster. From a point in death to the disappearance of some pretty important characters, here's the story of Downton Abbey, a new era. Huge spoilers ahead. A happily ever after for Mr. Mason and Mrs. Patmore. There were many theories regarding the future of this potential couple, and the sequel finally gave these characters what they deserved for a long, long time. Some fans believe this feels like a forced storyline, but the creator thought this is the perfect time for Mr. Mason to move out of his farm and move in with Mrs. Patmore. I think that's one reason why William married you. So that I wouldn't be alone. The Wedding The sequel starts off with Tom Branson finally getting his happily ever after, Branson finally marries Lady Bagshaw's illegitimate daughter, Lucy Smith. Obviously, the creator didn't mind spending more bucks on these two characters' wedding ceremony. The scene with their wedding enters the list of most beautiful scenes in the entire universe of Downton. Anyway, after tying the knot, the couple goes on a trip to the French Riviera. Fans already knew that the Crawley family will go on a trip to the French Riviera in the sequel, but they had no idea how this villa came into possession of Lady Violet. We'll talk about that bit later in the video, if this is the last film we're seeing of Downton, we're leaving Tom and Lucy on a perfect note. Near the end of the sequel, viewers find out that Lucy is pregnant. This will be the first child of the beloved couple. Branson has a daughter with the late Sybil, who unfortunately lost her life during childbirth. At the very end of the sequel, viewers can see Lucy and Tom visiting Downton with their baby together. New Characters dramatic storylines. It appears as if Anna Smith from Deadline gave the sequel a perfect review. Smith writes, With more plot turns than half a dozen episodes, a new era crams a lot into the running time, and its manipulations can be quite transparent, but it's hard to resent them when it so clearly achieves their mission. After all, as Molesley says, we all need dreams. In the much-anticipated sequel, film star Myrna Delglish, played by Laura Haddock, struggles a bit with her accent, because of it, she thinks she can pursue a film career. But with the help of Daisy Parker, Anna Bates, and Cora, she overcomes the struggle and learns how to speak close to a perfect American accent. The creator decided to make this a two storylines film, with one of them being about the mysterious villa in the south of France inherited by Countess Lady Violet. The Crawleys are invited to this villa, and they decide to go on a journey to French Riviera. Lord Grantham, Lady Grantham, Lady Edith, Lord Hexham, Tom Branson, Lucy Branson, and Lady Bagshaw all travel to the south of France to find out how this villa came to the possession of Violet. They are joined by Miss Baxter, Mr. Bates, and Mr. Carson. The other half of the family decides to let a film crew use the Downton estate, so the household becomes a film set. This isn't a generous gesture as the Crawleys ask for a lot of money in order to let this group of actors stay in their household. The film crew is not left alone as Lady Mary is assigned to take care of the estate while the film crew uses it. The director of the film is Mr. Barber. The expected twist comes when Barber develops feelings toward Lady Mary, but Mary refuses to do anything with him because, after all, she's a married woman. The problem is that her husband is nowhere to be found because, as she explains, Henry is traveling the world. This was a bit of an issue for the sequel because the character didn't appear in a single scene, not even at Tom's wedding. Apparently, Matthew Good, the actor who plays Henry, had a busy schedule and decided not to reprise his role in the sequel. Lady Edith Once being referred to as Poor Edith, she became the most powerful one of the entire Crowley family. Now that she has a husband she loves, a child and a perfect life in general, she again thought something was missing. The sequel sees her showing an interest in a journalism career and she decides that it would be good for her to follow her dreams. Thomas Barrow and his love interest a lot of fans wanted to see Thomas Barrow in a proper relationship this time. In the follow-up to the first film, Barrow quits his job as a butler at the estate and leaves. The first film gave Barrow a love interest, Richard Ellis, but in the sequel, Thomas says that Mr. Ellis is married now. We then see Barrow with Guy Dexter. By the end of the film, Dexter asks Mr. Barrow if he would like to live as the actor's live-in partner and assistant. Barrow decides to accept the proposal and leaves Downton with Dexter. There were more twists in this film than in the entire show, and one of them almost broke our hearts. In a new era, Lady Grantham shows odd behavior, and we later find out that she thinks she's sick. More precisely, she believes she has cancer. Once she talks with Robert telling him how she feels, he suggests she does a couple of additional tests, which reveal that she doesn't have cancer, 
but instead suffers from a form of anemia that could be cured. For those of you wondering if Robert is the legitimate son of Lady Violet and Lord Grantham, he is. It's confirmed by the end of the film. I'll call Clive Brook or Charlie Chaplin, see what they think. You know Charlie Chaplin. Oh, wait, he's it's Lady Violet. Yes, guys, we've said goodbye to the best character in Downton. A lot of film experts who have seen the film claim that this is exactly what fans needed, closure. After seeing the show and the 2019 film, the sequel includes what the creator of Downton thought would be perfect for fans who have been following the characters ever since 2010. Yes, it's been more than a decade since the pilot episode. Anyway, the sequel titled A New Era featured the promised poignant death of a major character, the Dowager of Countess, aka Violet Crawley, loses her life. The first film ended on a cliffhanger, with Violet revealing to her granddaughter Mary that she suffers from an unknown illness. Because of this storyline, fans believe they won't see Dame Maggie Smith reprising her role in the sequel. Thankfully, the 87-year-old actress came back to reprise her role. The sequel is again led by her, with fans learning a bit more about her past. Viewers find out that when she was young, she was in love with Marquet de Montmirel. Back then, the couple spent an entire summer on the French Riviera. Julian Fellows is a person who should all send thank you cards for deciding to make this film about the character fans love the most. Seeing the Dowager as a young and rebellious lady brought a lot of emotions. Anyway, Violet later explains that she decided to marry Robert's father, Lord Grantham. She also mentions that her love for Lord Grantham was not like the one she had with Marquis, but she states that they succeeded in creating a strong marriage and a family together. The film follows Smith's character during this affair she had when younger, and once Violet is done explaining the affair to her family, she leaves Montmirail's villa to great-granddaughter Sybil, Sibby Branson. What follows is an extremely heartbreaking scene with the entire family and their loyal servants paying the last visit to the beloved Violet. Once they make sure everyone is there to say goodbye to her, Violet dies. The last scenes we see are with the entire cast of Downton following the hearse carrying her coffin to her funeral. Actors, critics, fans, creators, everyone shed a tear or two during these moments. In an interview with Radio Times, actor Michael C. Fox, who plays Andy Parker in Downton, explained how the cast felt during these scenes. It just feels really monumental and very special to be a part of it, he said, adding that if this is the last film, it's kind of a lovely way to finish it. Have you guys seen the film? What do you think of it? Do you think that there should be a continuation? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Thanks for watching.